So I uh, went, uh, I've been hearing a lot about this movie, Miracle in Cell Number no. 7. And um, especially from, you know, Christians, Christian sources, been hearing that, ah, wow, what a wonderful, what a wonderful film. I mean, someone came to me and was like, wow, you have to watch this film. And, but I don't know, for some reason, I wasn't drawn to it. I wasn't drawn to it. But eventually, I just I found it, saw it, and I watched it. <clears throat> and then I started to scratch my head. And I, it was difficult for me to understand. And it still is. How some of us can think that this movie is a big deal. Now let me help. Let me explain. Let me let me explain something very clearly. <clears throat> it's a nice movie. It's long, and I found it uh, interesting to sit and watch the whole thing. But it's very very interesting. The little girl in the movie. Oh my goodness, that girl probably deserves an Oscar. Great acting. The primary character. Everybody did excellently well. The story on its own is also a good and compelling story. Yes, it pulls at the heartstrings, and that is nice. That is good. But what I don't get is what all the excitement is from a Christian perspective. Okay, uh, now, this is spoilers going forward. If you have not watched the movie, you may want to stop now and uh, go and watch it yourself. But if you don't care, please go on. I'll try to keep this as short as possible. No, the, the, the thrust of the movie eventually is that a guy gave up his life for somebody else. And I get where how that is exciting. There are a lot of movies like that that tug at the heartstrings, strings and they have nothing, nothing to do with being a child of God. They're just a good story well told, you know. Um, uh, Gladiator... Uh, and so, listen, uh, you will find several, several movies where people allow themselves to be killed for others or whatever, whatever, whatever. Listen, I, I have a rugged Bible right here, and uh, I will just open straight to First Corinthians chapter thirteen. I'll just open straight to First Corinthians chapter thirteen, and I will read the first few lines it says though i speak with the tongue of a man and of angels and have no charity i am become a sounding brass or tinkling cymbal and though i have the gift of prophecy and understands all mysteries and all knowledge and though i have all faith so that i should remove mountains and i have no charity i am nothing and though i bestow all my goods to feed the poor and though i give my body to be burned and have no charity it profited me nothing <clears throat> so let me help you understand something about that movie the movie is nice and interesting and everything and uh, everybody's excited about the guy who gave his life to be killed for this other man who was having issues and uh, somehow or the other we seem to equate that to being a child of god or to being a god no it's not there's only one way to salvation the man was trying to atone for the sins that he committed in killing his own daughter <clears throat> and because he could not face his own life he gave up his life he didn't do it out of love Please understand that as a child of God. He did not do that. He did it out of a selfish reason. For that reason, he did not get saved. Sorry, well, I'm not God. I'm not God, so I don't know. But from the face of it, on the face of it, there's only one way to get saved. There's only one way to get saved. And that is by accepting Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Repent of your sins. Ask him to come into your life. Then begin to live a life that pleases him. It's not enough to say that sinner's prayer, as most of us know how to say. It's on one of my videos. No. Say the prayer. And if you happen to die on this spot, good for you. I guess you go to heaven. But after you've said that prayer, there's a lot more you have to do. I'll direct you to 2 Peter chapter 1, starting from verse 5, where it talks about, through your faith, had knowledge to your knowledge had uh, brotherly kindness to your brotherly kindness had had perseverance to your perseverance had always you are always adding something because if you are not adding something if you are not growing you are dead the only things in this world that are not growing are dead things going back to the movie the bottom line of that movie is that it's a nice movie 
One of my favorite movies is Meet Joe Black, which is about death taking on the form of a human being and falling in love with a woman. So I'm not so it's not I'm not saying that strictly all your movies have to be Christian movies. No. But I'm saying that please don't misconstrue this movie to be a Christian movie. It's not. It's just somebody trying to explain how we try, try to pull at your heartstrings to suggest that by giving your life for somebody else, you are automatically saved. No. No. That's a lie from the pit of hell. If even if you do that, like I just read in um, in First Corinthians chapter thirteen, the book of love. Even if I give my body to be burned, if my motivation is not love, what's love? God is love. If my motivation is not God, if my motivation is not about my relationship with God, if my motivation is not about pleasing God, if I have not repented of my sins, I am deceiving myself. This is going out to Christians. Enjoy as many movies as you want to enjoy. Love the movies. Have fun. But please, don't forget get to be anchored in the word of God because you will run into all kinds of silly things and stupid ideas from different people all over the world and some of those ideas are not stupid they are deliberately targeted at misleading you be careful okay be diligent study to show yourself approved let Holy Spirit teach you read the whole Bible no matter how long it takes you to do it then read it again because what you read 20 years ago is good for 20 years ago sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof Read the Bible, be filled with that word so that when you come across these instances that may be misleading or confusing, you know the truth. You're not deceived by the lies. Please, just because somebody gave their life for somebody doesn't make it a good story. What was their motivation? His motivation was because he was afraid for the sins he had committed by killing his own daughter and he could not face life anymore, so he prepared to die. That is not the same as saying, you know what? I have all my life in front of me and this guy has his but because I love him and because I care about the will of God let me give myself for him that's different and, this, and that again is not the same as salvation so uh, children of God I put you in remembrance today of what the word of God says Okay? There is no other name given in heaven or earth by which we must be saved. Other, other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, which is Christ Jesus. First Corinthians chapter 3. Okay? So, I have been away for a while, but hey, just dropped in to say this very quickly. Remember that. Thank you for watching. Remember to click on like. Um, this, is not, this isn't about money. This is about helping God's people know the truth about what it means to be a child of God. Click on like, click on subscribe so you get more videos as they come. Click on notification so that you know when those videos come. Leave a comment, ask a question, share. Tell somebody who may need to see this. God bless you. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day.